Okay, so you see how it appeared in my ClickFunnels account, S. Neville Beauty Academy. That's another one of our gold members. I click Add Funnel. What's happening? Guess what's happening? It's copying those funnels from S. Neville. All right, down here at the bottom, you see that right here, it's downloading. So we're going to have a copy of S. Nevaeh's school funnel. Now, all we have to do is go in and add our pictures, our videos, our logo, our name. So let's click on view funnel. Okay. Now, let's look at this. You see S. Nevaeh's funnel back here. Look at it, y'all. Let me show you. Look. All we got to do now is put Margie Bibbs logo or picture or video. We can use a lot of these wording, a lot of this wording. We can, we can keep that. What's going on, Antonio? So that's what we're going to do right there. So I wanted you all to see that. We can click on the other funnel. Watch, look at this one. So we copied the entire funnel. Look, now I'm rolling. She has a video here. So if Margie has a video, we can embed the video on here. So now if somebody's on their cell phone, they click the link. Okay, we wanna be your own boss, earn financial independence. So we're gonna work on that. We're gonna work on this funnel. All right, so now what we gotta do, since we copy this from S. Nevea. We don't want S. Nevea's name on the funnel because now it's Margie's bib, okay? And the name of her school is State um, Barber School. All right, so what we gotta do when we go back here, and I wanna make sure that y'all see this. All right, so we gotta click on this gear at the top. There's several things you gotta do. Several things you got to do. This is going to be in the back office, y'all. So the first thing you want to do is click on this link. And then we're going to change its name. State Barber School. Because we don't want S. Nevaeh's name on this funnel when we send that link or a potential student or somebody clicks on the link. So we're gonna highlight that, copy. This path right here, we gotta paste that name. Scroll down and save it and update it. You all don't have to remember any of this because I'm recording it. All you gotta do is play it with one computer for five or 10 seconds, pause it, come over here, do it, play it again, pause it, come over here and do it. So don't think that it's a whole lot. So now we're going back because we're working on this second one. Now we clicked on the first link. We're going to click on the second link. You see Estevelle Beauty Academy. We don't want that name pasted. We use State Barber School in the first link. So we're going to put a one behind this to distinguish it. Paste, put a one. Now we're going to update the funnel step. We're saving it. Okay, so we did the gear and settings, the gear right here. You see how we changed the name at the end? Now there's one more gear. It's right there, copy, paste it. We'll put a number two in the path, paste. We're gonna put a number two, update it. Now, what we've done, we've changed the name on the links. Now we clicked on edit page. It's very important that we do this first. Now, we're on edit page. We're going to click on settings over here. All right, settings right here, and then SEO metadata. So we'll put state barber school, paste. Now enrolling students. School name right there, state barber school, paste. Now, if she has a logo or a picture that she likes, we will put that where it says school logo. So what I'm gonna do 
I'm going to pause this. What I just did, I just went to my email and I downloaded this picture. We're going to put this picture in our click funnels. So I'm going to stop share. Now I'm going to share again with click funnels. All right. Now, what we want to do, we're going to put that picture in here. That's what we're going to do. All right. Now, how are we going to do that? We'll go back here to SEO metadata. And we're going to click on this image. All right. These are all the pictures back here, whatever work I've done. So we download that picture. So I'm going to drag it from my hard drive and put it in the back of my click funnels where all my other pictures are stored. The file was not supported by PNG. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to play like, um, see, for some reason that picture could not be uploaded, but I'm going to try again. I'm going to click upload and I'm going to go to the picture. Um, no, it will not let us upload that for some strange reason. That's some kind of different picture. Well, yeah, it won't let us upload that picture. I don't know what kind of picture that is, Margie. I'll try it again. And then if not, I'll just use one of these pictures. Yeah, it won't let us do it. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to play like um, we have that. So I'll just use this picture, uh, George Sanders, for training purposes. Now, George Sanders, his logo, we're going to put it right here. Because remember, we're changing out S. Nevaeh. So MK. G Barber Academy, change it right here. You see that? Click on that. MKG Barber Academy. Now, we don't want this purple. So what we're going to do, how are we going to change this purple? Because these colors are red, black, blue. So we'll just change that to uh, red. All right, and then we can move it around, kind of match up with the other red. All right, want to be your own boss and earn financial independence. Most people, now let me take this off. Um, <clears throat> most people, they want their logo. So we put that logo. This background where it's white, we could, we could change that color. We could click the gear where it says background right here. We can change it to any color we want. Um, we can change that to blue. Okay. Um, <clears throat> we could change the background to uh, black. And then we could change the words, the bold words to blue. You see how we did that? You, you could do a lot of stuff. So I'll just make this background white, okay? And leave that blue. Now, we scrolling down. So we got a nice tagline. Want to be your own boss, want to earn financial independence. We got the school name, scroll down. Now, now enrolling. So we'll have the links probably red and white. Now enrolling. Okay, take the school quiz. We don't want that purple. So let's take that off. And we're going to make the links red. Okay. We got that set up. Now, this video, we want our video. So just say we had a video. And I'm going to show y'all how to upload a video. This again. We're going to recap. If we want to add a video, this is what we do. Go to elements, add element. Take this, drag it over here. All right. We've gone to YouTube and we've gotten the URL. 
we're gonna click on the gear. We're gonna go over here and click YouTube. We're gonna paste the URL and hit enter, okay? We're gonna click in the white area and we're gonna save it. After we save it, we can preview it. As you see, there's the video. Now we'll go back to this page right here. We can move this video. All we have to do where it says move, hold it down with the left click and we drag it, okay? So now you know how to add videos, you know how to add pictures, you know how to change the links. Now, something else I'm gonna share. We need to see how this looks on a cell phone. If you go up here to the top left, where I'm hovering, you'll see where I'm hovering at the top left, I'm gonna click on mobile. As you can see, look, that's how it will look on the cell phone. We're gonna click on settings, SEO metadata. You see this? Everything looks good. Now I'm going to click back on the computer so we see how it looks on the computer. So we know how to do all of that. But that quiz, we want a quiz. Now, if we want to say duplicate these links, we would click on clone right here. Watch this. See how I clone that? Now, if I want to space them out, I will click on the gear. If you see top margin here, watch this. See how I spaced that out? I want you to see that. Now, so I will delete these. Click on the trash can. I can copy this line that I made. See this line? Watch this. I can copy that and drag it in between those. Watch this. See how I separated that? So, but I'm gonna delete this line and I will delete that take the school quiz. So what we're gonna do now, we're going to create a quiz, all right? So now a potential student, they think about joining school, they click that link, they can fill it out. So now let's create a quiz. Now we're gonna create that quiz in a jot form. So I'm gonna to go to my jot form account and I'm gonna share this screen with you all. So you all can see the back office of my job forms. I have a lot of job forms back here and I'm gonna share the screen with you all so you all can kind of see what's going on back here. Now, so let's share this screen. Here's the job form account. Job form, J-O-T-F-O-R-M.com. You can get a free account. Um, this is a paid account because I have a lot of forms back here. So what I'm going to do, I'll look, I'm just going to type in school uh, quiz. All right. Now, so we got school quiz. We'll look at executive right here. So let's look at their form. Okay. We can use this one. And there are two types of forms you can use. This one, and I'm gonna show you another one. Actually, um, let me show you another form. And y'all can kind of pick which uh, school quiz, which one you all like the best. It just depends on, look at Buff Nail Academy. They got 71 people that have filled out their quiz. Okay, now that's a different one. Let me, I want to see one that has uh, all the questions on one form. All right, pre-register. Maybe this, this could be a good one. Let me see. All right, yeah, this is a good one. So I'll go back and I'm going to type in Albany. School quiz. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to copy this because I already made this before. I'm going to clone it. I cloned it. Now, I want y'all to really see this. So we cloned it. Now, we don't want the pink. The, the, barber, the barbers don't want the pink. So we got to get rid of that. But first, we got to change the name. So we're going to go to settings. And we're going to change that. Free school quiz. 
State Barber School. Okay, we have that. Now, what we're gonna do, go back to Bill. State Barber School don't want to paint. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna click all over here to the right, this little paintbrush. Page color, see that? We can make it blue, dark blue, like for barbering or whatever. We'll, uh, we can have it red, whatever color you want. Now, just say we had a logo. We could put the logo here. We would take this, and we can remove that one, hit choose, and then we could upload a logo from um, another school. All right? But since we don't have a logo, I'm not going to put anything right there. What program are you interested in? What program interests you? So I think they only have like Barbara, maybe. Margie, you can talk if you want. What program do y'all have? Let me know. I know you got the barber. Okay, do you have any experience? Now, one thing I wanna share with you all, if you wanna make it required that they fill this out, click on properties and click on require, make that on. Do you have experience? What else would you all want to know? Anything else y'all wanna know? Do you have a high school diploma or GED? So just say we want to add another multiple choice. Let me show y'all. You click over here, form elements, go down to where it says multiple choice. Drag it over here. Y'all see that? I need to know what other questions y'all wanna know. Okay, I'm gonna show y'all how to make them links wobble. I'll share that. All right, so nobody, all right, so um, let me see. Do you need a payment plan? So I just type that in. Do you need a payment plan? All right, and we'll put yes, no. And we'll click on these X's. Now, required is off, so let's turn it on. How long have you been interested in the barber industry? So let's change that. We can add whatever questions we want. Now, I'm on a, um, what are you looking for in a school? So now the name, phone number, email. Now we need to make this form, when that potential student fills this form out, we need to make it go to Margie Bibb's email. So I need your email, Margie. Um, I know I have her email. Let me see. I'll look it up. Unless you want to talk, Margie. But if not, um, state. So we'll look at it. State bar. State Barber School TX01. All right, so now, so I'm going back. State Barber School TX01. I remember that. All right, so we got to put this email in here. So when they hit submit, it goes to her email. How do we do that? Click on settings, then click on emails. Then click on this notification, click on the ink pen. Then click on recipients. Right down here, where it's Albany Beauty Academy. We don't want it going now. Click on that X. And what we gotta do, paste it. Look, we just put State Barber School. Now we gotta save it. Click save. Next, autoresponder. Click on the ink pen. Then click on recipients. Y'all don't have to remember any of this because I'm recording it. And like I said, replay this recording on another electronic device for five to 10 seconds, pause it. Then go over here and do it. Then play this five or 10 seconds, look at it, pause it. Then go over here and do it. It's that simple. Let's put the name in. 
State Barbara School. Reply to email. What we're going to put? The State Barbara School TX01. Save it. Why is it saying invalid email? State Barber School TX01. State Barber School TX01 at gmail.com. All right, hold on. All right, so I'm gonna pause this. All right, this is what we're gonna do now. Let's go back to where it says build, okay? Now, if we go back to settings, the thank you page, this is what they get after they hit submit. All right, that's... Okay, so now, um, this is what they get. We could put a video right here. We could put thank you for registering or whatever um, right there, but that's it. So now when we hit publish, this is the link, y'all. Click that, copy link. Now we're gonna go back to our ClickFunnels page and we're gonna put that link that jot form link for them to fill out that quiz in the click forms. All right, that's what we're gonna do. So let's do that. Share, here it is. We're gonna click on the link, the gear, see that? Click set action, go to website URL. We're gonna take her jot form out. We're gonna paste ours and hit enter and then click in the white part save it now let's preview it okay we look adrian charles hilton chris daniel danita george ayana ayana look jasmine javonda jackson karen kiwana look Luan, we we want to embed that lele mel michelle barnes Shirley. that's what we're going to do miss char so when we click on this, Pam, Sharonda, uh, Dan, Tahisha, when we click on that, that job form is going to pop up, Tiffany, Tracy, Veronica, Victoria, Vivian, Sandra. Okay, Wanda. Watch this. Hit preview. Potential student scrolls down. Take the school quiz. Boom. There it is. Look. Okay, what program interests you? If you got different ones, they click. Do you have an experience? Yes. Would you like to open up your own business? Yes. Do you need a payment plan? Yes. How long have you been interested? A year. What are you looking for in the school to learn? Put your name in. All right. First and last name, phone number, email. Submit. Now, what happened, this form just went to Margie Bibb, the owner of State Barber School. All right. It just went there. And they received it. And she'll tell you, she's on here, Margie. Let them know if you received it. Let them know. Now, Sharonda Bowman, one of our gold members, she wants to know how to make that link wobble, okay? That's what she wants to know, how to make that link wobble. All right, we're going to show you. So click on the gear the orange gear right here. And now we got to go to advanced. Click on advanced, scroll down where it says button effect right here. See that? Click on it. Rocking, bounce, elevate, wobble. We click on wobble, save it. Now preview it. See it? You see it wobbling? Now, um, so now you see how that um, wobbles. Now let's go back. We can click on the gear, advance, go down, rocking or loop. 
Save it. Preview. You see it? See it moving? See it rocking like that? So you can make it do all kinds of things. Do y'all understand that? Okay. Now, the next form is a COVID-19 service form. I'm going to click on that. Do y'all see her COVID-19 service form? Since we got COVID, clients can come in and click that, fill it out. Look, do you normally willingly consent to have hair, nail services, whatever, during COVID-19? Do you understand that COVID-19 is a long? I'm not going to read all these questions, but you want this to be protected in case they try to sue you or whatever. Uh, they've already consented to everything, sign it, submit. It goes to you. So now, some people have it where you write, but a lot of people don't want to touch stuff. And this saves you paper and pen and all of that. So we're going to make a COVID-19 service form. Tyler James is up in the house. Tyler, we over here on our um, Zoom. So what I'm going to do, we're going to make a COVID-19 service form for State Barber School. All right. So I'm gonna start, uh, I'm going to go into my job form and I'm gonna start recording and I'm gonna share the screen with y'all because I want y'all to see everything. I want y'all to see everything. So let me share it. I'm not gonna withhold nothing from y'all. A lot of people are not gonna show y'all all this. It's like a magician. They always want to hide some little trick. I'm never going to hide anything from y'all intentionally. Uh, so now, click on that. COVID. Okay. So let me start recording. Uh, we still recording, so it doesn't matter. So I typed in COVID over there, and we could just pull up a form. Okay, so let's copy a COVID-19 form. Click on that, and we're going to clone it. See? Now, guess what we're going to do? We're just going to put our name in there. What's her name? State Barber. Is it Barber School? Yeah. COVID-19 service form. But guess what? We got to change the name right here. Real simple. State Barber School. All right. Now, remember, we got to put her email address in. Click on emails. Click on ink pen. Recipients. We got to change the name. So State Barber School TX01 at gmail.com. Copy that. Save it. All right. Thank you, Paige. We got that. Okay. So we'll go back here. We're going to look at this, make sure this is good. Oh, yeah. Y'all remember how to change this background color? Remember? Remember how we did that? We type blue. Now, um, I'm just reading this to make sure. Temperature. Okay. Um, do you understand that the, and Texas? TDLR, that's in Texas. TDLR. Recommends. All right, now we got that. That's done. Publish. Now, how are we going to put this link over on our ClickFunnels page? Do y'all remember? Copy link. There you go. Then we go back to the click funnels. We're going back to the click funnels.
Okay. We're back on the ClickFunnels. This COVID-19 service form, click on the gear, set action. We need to take day, job form off, paste hours. Hit enter. Now, save it. We're going to preview it. Preview it. Scroll down. Look, there's the form. Fill that out. Boom, 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 boom. Just click on all these. I'm just doing this. Scroll down. This, this, this name. All right. Sign. Submit. That's it. Now, so this is what we've done. We've got where well, they can take the quiz. And notice we haven't sent them to some website that twists them all up. See, when y'all send them to these websites and it's got all these buttons and this and that, it paralyzes the brain. They don't know what to do. We need stuff simple. That's why the funnels are so powerful because they're simple. It tells you exactly, this is a menu. When you go out to dinner, what do they give you? A menu. And you can easily scroll with your phone and look at this. Now, the catalog. We don't need to be printing out a catalog, giving it to the students. Only thing the student going to do is throw it in the garbage can. So what we need to do is embed this catalog in here. That's what we need to do. So I'm going to show you all how to do that. Now we're getting into some high level stuff. All right, we're getting into some high level stuff. So I'm gonna show y'all how to do that. Now, the next thing, this catalog, let's look at that. We don't want Sharonda's catalog. Look, it's Nevada Beauty Academy. Students want the catalog. If they ask you, well, what about the admissions? Click the link. It tells you about that. What about tuition? What about the complaint policy? Click the link. All right, so now we're gonna go back and I'm gonna show y'all how to put a catalog in here. And that'll be the last part of today's training um, is this catalog. So what I'm going to do, <clears throat> stop share. She sent me her catalog and I'm gonna to go to State Barber School Catalog. I saved it on my computer and I'm gonna show it to y'all. Okay. Share. Here's our catalog. Y'all see that catalog? So what we gotta do, we gotta put this catalog in their click funnels. So when they click it, It'll pop up and a student can just scroll on their phone and read it. That's what we have to do. This is going to save you a lot of paper, a lot of time. We want to get into automating stuff. So when it's automated, it just makes it easy. So this is what we're going to do. We're going to go to ClickFunnels, y'all. All right. Now we ain't click funnels, but we're going to save this page. All right. We're going to go out of click funnels. We're going to exit out of here. I want to look at some stuff. All right. So we're going to exit out. All right. Now, once we exit out, we're gonna click up here at the top right, okay? And then where it's got account settings, click on account settings. Now we're gonna scroll over here and we want to look at digital assets. Click on digital assets. Now, new asset at the top right. Where it says choose file, 
choose a file. Now I'm going to get state barber schools catalog. I have it saved on my hard drive. And I have it in the folder, State Barber School. Do y'all see it? So let's look. State Barber School. So I'm looking for it right now. Um, State Barber School. And what we're going to do, as soon as I see that folder, I am going to upload that catalog. I got all these photos, State Barber School. I might've passed it, I don't know. State Barber School, success. I'm looking for state, Florida. I got a lot of stuff on here. Let me start off, no, let me just put in the search. S-T-A-T-E, here, Anna. There it is, state. Now, I'm looking for their catalog. Right here, school catalog, boom. Double click on it. Asset name, State Barber School. Catalog from State Barber School. I can put the email in. State, there it is right here. I don't need to have a message. And I can click add. Hold on, okay. File should be less than three MB. Okay, now, file is too big. All right, that's not a problem. We can make this file smaller. I'm glad this happened. I'm glad that file happened. So what I'm ready to do, um, we're gonna type compress uh pdf y'all can google that and there are a lot of free uh let me show y'all this there are a lot of free little apps compress pdf choose file right here so what it's doing now it's going to compress this catalog to make it smaller so it'll fit right in there All right, here it is. Basic compression. And we're gonna download this. We could also, if it was uploaded in our Dropbox. So now download. Okay, it just downloaded right here, State Barber School PDF. So now, <clears throat> I'm going to go back to ClickFunnels. And we're going to choose file. And it's on that desktop because I just downloaded it right here. Compressed. We're going to add. Let me refresh it. All right. This is the compressed one. So we'll see if it compressed it enough because that's the free version. They may try to make us pay for the other version to compress it all the way down, but we'll soon find out once we click add. Yep, see it's still too big. So what we need to do um, we'll go back. Let's go back. Um, there's another thing that we can do. We could put this in a Google Doc. Let me show y'all how to do that. Because that's free. Yeah, I'm going to show you all. Yeah, I'm going to show you all something else. Um, if we compress that all the way down, let me look for another one. So what? 
Okay, so basically what we're gonna do, we're gonna go to our Google Drive. You know how to upload a Google Doc. Um, the way you do that, go to your email, click on those nine dots, click on Drive. After that, click on New, then click on File Upload. Upload the file, okay, right here. Once that uploads, then you go down to that catalog, what you just uploaded, click on it, then right click, then click on share. When you click on share, you wanna make sure you change it to anyone with the link can view it and copy the link. After that, you're gonna take that link and go to ClickFunnels, which is, let me go there which is right here. So I'm gonna make sure y'all can see the click on the screen. All right, now we're gonna go to access catalog. We're gonna click on the gear, set action, go to website URL and copy and paste that link and hit enter. And after that, you're gonna save and preview. And then if they click on this, boom, you got the catalog. Okay, now let's go back to this funnel page. So all the other stuff, we'll delete that for right now. Now we can look at the rules and regulations. So what we can do with that, we could download the rules and regulations um, or if there's a link, let me take this off down here. Oh, well actually what we can do down here, Let's change this color. Purple, we can put red or whatever, or we can put blue. But we still need to put, you see this? We can put the gear. Instagram, so let's go to Instagram. And see, uh, State Arbor, So, mm, I don't know if this is their Instagram. Yeah, that's our Instagram follow. So this is what we're gonna do. Copy that link, copy. Hopefully y'all can see this. I wanna make sure y'all can see this. So copy the link. And then we're gonna go back to ClickFunnels. Go back to ClickFunnels at this bottom. Where it's got the Instagram logo, click on the gear, click on that, put the Instagram right there, hit enter, save it, and we're gonna preview it. So once we preview it, scroll down, they click on the Instagram icon, boom, it goes to State Barber School. All right. So this is their website. If a student goes here, it will probably twist them up because it's too much thrown at them. They don't know what to do. So what we would do, we would send them to their funnel page. They would go here first. See how it just makes it more easier. Now, if they want the website, we'll click on here. And we can send them to the website. But what we want them to do, we want them to fill out their free quiz so we can call them back and get them into school for a tour or whatever, and then sign them up. That's what we want. Um, we can put Texas rules and regulations in here at a later time. If they have products, we can do that. Um, I'll go ahead and just take that off. So here we'll put, uh, State Barber School, and then um, I'll come back and put the address in. So I want to do some Q and A. Uh, hopefully, you all learned a lot from this. So I'm.